Hey everyone, today we will start uh, creating our own blog using Gatsby and then I'll show you guys how you can deploy it to either AWS or Netlify. So right now I'm thinking I'll do it a two-part video uh, where I'll show how to set up your Gatsby blog in this video and then another video for the deployment. So let's get right into it. Um, so we'll start by installing the Gatsby CLI. If um, you guys are not aware of Gatsby, it's a static site generator. Um, you can go through their documentation. Um, they have a pretty good documentation, to be honest. So let's get right into it. Uh, as you can see, here's the command to install Gatsby CLI. I already have it, so I'm just going to run it either way. Um, it'll take some time. Okay, so I'm all done, and I'm just gonna show you guys. We'll be using this uh, Julia Do uh, blog starter theme uh, for our own blog. Uh, I'll post the links to everything in the description down below uh, but this is how it looks like i can just show you around uh, these are the blogs or the articles that we can have under the blog section and then the github just takes it to the github link for the project um, you can change that obviously so let's get started with this starter theme uh, you can see uh, you can create it locally by using Gatsby new and since we installed the Gatsby CLI uh, it should just work fine I'm um, just gonna cd into my right directory um, here's the command you can just hit enter and that should just install the starter theme for you I'm just going to pause this because it will take some time to install the theme. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, it installed fine. Um, now I'll just open it in VS Code and then we'll go from there, look at the directory and the source files. So I, I use VS Code as my code editor, but um, here you can see um, all the files that are necessary to set up the Gatsby site. Um, as you can also see that the node modules are already installed so you don't need to run npn i uh, to install them but uh, to just give you a quick overview uh, here are the pages so we only have three pages right now and there is um, everything mentioned on the github repo or the readme uh, on how you can customize uh, or add pages of your own if you would like um yeah uh, let's get um this on our github um so that we can uh, have it saved somewhere so i'll go in and create a new repository uh, say blog starter that looks right um I'll leave it blank uh, for now and let's create a repository. Okay, so let's push this to our GitHub repository. Okay, and we can push this to the master branch and wait for the magic to happen. If I refresh this, we should see our starter Gatsby code. Um, and now we can work on the site and then start pushing changes so that they are saved in GitHub. Um, so yeah, let's get into the site itself. Um, as I already mentioned, the directory structure 
um, pages are the pages for your website and then use components um, inside those pages so that you don't have to rewrite um, every page uh, which makes things pretty easy and uh, I'm no expert in Gatsby or React but uh, you can totally check out uh, their documentation and how React works uh, so yeah um, so we have three pages uh, one is just a 404 so technically two um, and as you can see this um, you can totally add another page here and you can import all the components that you need um, and you can also create new components so let's say you wanted a component for a footer um, you can add that and use it on every page uh, by just importing the footer component from the components directory and list it at the bottom of the page so uh, something like uh, footer if you call your component footer uh, yeah um so if, if let's see what do we have at the index page uh which is the home page um and also if you want we can start the gatsby develop which would start our site uh, So as you can see we didn't have any errors and you can go to this link here oh, which would be our site and we can start working on it and it would show the changes live as soon as you save the files on your project so we go into the index page uh, we have three components or one is the layout component um, and then we are importing SEO and then there is landing bio which I guess is this oh we'll take a look oh uh, so if we go on to landing bio and if we see that it's okay so here's the name and here's the description but they're using the site metadata oh um, so Either we could replace this to let's say reshub and save that. If we go back, you can see save those changes, and this is the description. So you can change that to I'll say cloud developer, maybe let's say. So here it is. Um, but the way they did it was pretty cool um, where they're pulling the data from the site metadata and we can change that instead because we'll change the metadata uh, eventually towards the end so if we go to gatsby config.js um, we'll see that the property site metadata and that is the one that we were talking and the title is the name that appears on the index page and then the description is called subtitle so if we change this um, to show and let's change this to junior developer or whatever in your case um, Go ahead and change the author to uh, to ratio seven, and you can change the description too. So I'll leave it same. You can change it to um, I don't know whatever your articles are about. So mine are 
usually related to the cloud. So I would write, oh, this is my blog, and I write about, write great articles about cloud, or something like that. So if you save this, and you save this, oh, you go back, you can see oh, the changes we did are, they take effect immediately. The cool part is, I think, um, the template was using this or the site metadata dot title as the one of the links here in the layout. So did change that too, uh, which is good. So now we'll go ahead and look at some other stuff that we can change. Side this starter to get you up and running with a blog. And also, I just want to show you guys where your posts or articles will be stored. So if you go under content, and right now, as you can see, um, under the blog, you have three articles. So if you go in here, and this is the post one. And this, this title theme supports uh, Markdown. So the articles are written in Markdown. And you can see that from the extension of the file. Uh, this here is a slug. So the slug, you can you can always Google it, but the slug is kind of the information about that article. So um, the title, uh, the date when it was published, uh, if it's a draft or not, and then the path to the uh, article itself. Uh, uh, let's try adding post four. Copy some of the contents of this. Name it article. Um, just change to that. Same article. Article and then I don't know. So I'm just copying some random text. If we save this and build our developer Gatsby site again, you should see a fourth article um, in there. Okay, so it finished e developing it. Oh, we don't. Oh, there we go. Just needed a refresh. So if we go under fourth article, and you can see this is this was the text that I pasted. It's just a gibberish text, and um, it's a one minute read. You get the date, you get the title, and this was what I was talking about, the, the slug for that article. You can change the date uh, and all the other properties for that article. So, yeah, I would go ahead and edit these uh, in your case. And um, there are some great markdown editors, but if you are already put like blogging on, I don't know, dev or hash node, um, you can just copy and paste your markdown that you have in your articles there. And this, it should be supported in here. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's how you, how you would edit your articles in here. It's under content. Um, the images that you want to use in your article uh, are stored under images uh, directory under the source so make sure like you include your images first in the uh, images directory and then have like the links in the 
actual markdown post um yeah that's pretty much it as far as the content goes um i think we are we're pretty good uh for now uh as a starter blog site um as you can see uh you can definitely add more details uh about yourself in the home page um oh that reminds me we have to change this uh, right now this goes to the github repository for the starter theme so in order to change that um we'll just go in in the in the header so here's the header component if you scroll down um you can see we have the as we remember this changed when we changed the site title in the site metadata property so you can see that here in the header it exports that from uh, the gatsby config um we have the navigation link to the blog page and we have a github link uh, which references or which goes to the github repository for this code so if i just change this to let's say um my own github oh it should take you to your own github page now um also i would like to see if we can have external links so let's say link href oops i can't type and this one let's say it goes to our twitter account so that's my twitter account we'll name it as twitter and if we save this and go back to our local host 8000 give it a refresh there you can see um it has that twitter um it's not the best looking link so i'm pretty sure it's the css so if we change it to a github link and github which don't get confused by the github link it's So as you can see it's the css that that was messed up for the link itself for the link um whereas you can see the css is set for github link uh, and it should be fixed now um so if you click on twitter um it should take you to your twitter page um so yeah that's i think that's pretty much it from what I needed from a starter blog um, but yeah there there are really cool other starter themes uh, by Gatsby uh, the one I use is I think it's by um, I can show you around I can post this one too it's pretty cool um, it has a switch to switch between dark and light themes um yeah oh uh, it has an about page and you can totally add this oh uh, you go under pages um you can add your own pages and you can add your own components uh, let's say you, i don't know you want to have a banner on the side on every page which has links to all of your social media uh, with a good profile picture um, you can totally add it as a component and then add it on your pages uh, by importing those components on the top um, but yeah it's, it's, it's still a pretty good start for now um, and yeah feel free to reach out i'll be coming out with the next part where 
we'll see how you can um, deploy this to AWS Amplify. And I'll go over a free uh, deployment that is through Netlify. Um, yeah, for now, I think we did we did pretty good. Uh, so this is basically how you can get started with your minimal looking blog. Uh, yeah, and I'll catch up with you guys in the next video.